Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Raymax Scorpio 668 Silver Aluminum Case. The front of this case is very stylish. There's a blue LED on the door. The door very easily opens to reveal four external five and a quarter inch bays, two external three and a half inch bays. The power button, reset button, hard drive LED, and the power LED are right here. There's a little gate which opens here. That houses two USB ports. And right here is the grill. And behind that grill, you can install an optional two 80 millimeter fans. Installing or removing a five and a quarter inch drive bay in this computer case is extremely easy to do because they've included eight of these little sliders. These go installed on either side of the drive. And let me show you how easy this is to install and remove. Just go ahead, first of all, install them on the drive, and then just simply slip the drive into place. It'll snap in. If you want to remove it, pinch it on either side and just pull it out. At the side of the case is a large window. They also include an LED fan with the grill, and this fan exhausts air out of the case. Right here is a handle. There's also a lock, and I'll show you how easy the side panel is to remove. Go ahead and push this handle this way, and then just go ahead and remove it. And installing it is just as simple. Just fit it into place on this side first and swing it in until it locks. At the back of the case, at the very top, is where the power supply gets installed. They have also included two 80 millimeter fans here at the back as well. And these are clear and these are actually temperature controlled, as is the one on the side panel. Also they've included an I.O. shield plate. Down right here is where your video cards, sound cards, and so on and so forth would protrude through once you have the motherboard installed. There is lots of space inside this case to install just about anything. As I mentioned earlier, at the top front you have the four external five and a quarter inch drive bays, two external three and a half inch drive bays, and you have another four internal three and a half inch bays for hard drives. These actually remove completely. You can go ahead here and simply slip this right out, install your zip drive, floppy drive, hard drive, whatever else you need to on this, and just go ahead and slip it back into place. And that is very easy to do and makes it very simple to install or remove anything that's in those two bays. At the bottom here you'll notice those little sliders. I showed you how they work earlier on in the video review and they neatly tuck away here in a groove at the bottom of the case. Also the motherboard tray unfortunately in this case is not removable. You also have all kinds of leads here to the power for that LED on the front door. You have the leads for the USB, leads for the power LED, the hard drive LED, the power switch, reset switch, and so on. This case is aluminum, so it's light and has lots of room so you can get in there and install or remove your computer components, lots of drive bays, lots of fans, a nice door with a window, etc. And it's also very stylish. Overall, this is a great product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop on my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go into the forums and register and remember registration is completely free. Also keep in mind you'll find out a lot more information about this product in the forums. Until the next time, take care.